Is it cold right now? Because I see you're wearing like a... It's pretty cold. Uh, it's around six, seven degrees. The wind chill is pretty cold and uh, gets your knees yeah. stiff. Incredible. I'm not in the right age group to be doing something like this. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> but you are doing it. So thank you for that. It, it blows my mind how limited like this, this knowledge and consciousness still is across the globe. Yeah. This is the most important thing. We need to change the yeah. narrative. That's why we are trying to move three to four billion people. If it could ever be done, it is only now it can be done. I'm super excited to be part of this movement uh, with you, such good. I can see you, yes, and hear, and hear you perfectly, which okay. is very surprising. On the I am side. not able to see you. There is some notification okay. on your face, uh, but it's okay. Anyway, I'm riding. I can barely look at the phone. So okay. it's a narrow road <laughs> out here. Yeah. I hope it's a so, good one. Uh, yeah. See. The, na yeah. the narrative on the planet has carefully avoided soil. <laughs> Why it is so, the politics of it, I don't want to get into it. Yeah. But uh, till I started talking about it a few months ago, uh, there was no voice for soil. It's only now that a whole lot of people at least have started acknowledging it. Uh, even the UN agencies, that's what they were saying, Sadhguru, we have been... Uh, kind of trying to push this for over 20 years, but nothing happened now within 15 days after you took it up. So much is happening. Uh, they are saying, uh, Sadhguru, you are the dream for all soil scientists because we have put in a lifetime of work, but without result. But now our work is finding exposure. So many people are trying to access the information now. This is really great. That's what uh, the scientists, uh, FAO scientists and others in Rome think. I love that. Yeah, because it, it blows my mind how limited like this this knowledge and consciousness still is across the globe. And I think that's why it's so important that we, we talk. About, yeah. This is the most important thing. We need to change the yeah. narrative. Yeah. Without changing the narrative, uh, no loss will come, you know. But uh, that's why we are trying to move three to four billion people. When I address COP15 on 9th and 10th of May, uh, by then, if you have moved substantial number of people, 170 nations, their representatives will be there. If we have moved a huge number of people, then there is, nobody can really ignore that, you know. That is why the movement. I understand. Where, where are you going now? But where are you, You're on your way to the next location? Uh, right now, we left Rome in the morning. We are on, a, on the way to Pisa. Uh, uh, where uh, we are meeting, we have a personal appointment with uh, Andrea Berricelli. You know him? Uh, yes, uh, yes, definitely. Yeah, I that's incredible. And um, like uh, on behalf of myself and everybody that uh, is listening right now and my audience, like thank you so much for, uh, you know, doing this and, and uh, traveling around the world the way you are. Is it cold right now? Because I see you're wearing like a... Yeah, uh, it's, it's pretty cold. Uh, yeah. uh, I think uh, the temperature is okay. It's around six, seven degrees. But okay. uh, yeah, the wind chill when I ride, the wind chill is pretty cold and uh, gets your knees yeah. stiff, you know. <laughs> Incredible. Well, what should, is next for the movement? Uh, uh, I'm, not, I'm not in the right age group to be doing something like this. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> but you are doing it. <laughs> you are doing it. <laughs> so thank you for that. And uh, also, like, what what is what are what are the countries that are next uh, on the list? Tomorrow we will get to Geneva. There are a lot of events there. We have a event uh, event with the United Nations. We have a event uh, with the World Economic Forum. We have wow. a event with the YPO, the Young Presidents Organization, and we have our own large public event. So apart from that, there are many meetings and interviews with the UN officials and uh, some of the local uh, political, uh, you know, uh, people who hold political offices. So two days we are in Geneva. It's very busy there. And then we are getting to Paris. Paris, uh, we have some events. It's election time. Uh, we're just on the verge of election. But still, uh, we are doing a... Uh, event in INSEAD, the management school, uh, and there are some more events there. Uh, I'm going one day at a time, so I don't know what all events are there. I know there is one at INSEAD. 
So from wow. Paris, we come to Brussels. In Brussels, there are important uh, meetings uh, with, uh, you know, the European Parliament people. Uh, I think that's important to change the narrative there because I think uh, there is too much of, uh, you know, what to say, disagreements on these things because very extreme uh, measures somebody will propose. So others will oppose, naturally, those who think preg pragmatically will mm -hmm. oppose those extreme steps because uh, it's almost like uh, close down everything, let's go back to nature kind of talk, which anyway won't happen. Uh, so this is a, the significant thing about this is this is not against anybody. And uh, it, is, it is a single point focus on soil. Uh, people are trying to draw us into so many things. What about this pollution? What about that? All those things are there. I'm not saying it's not significant. But if we want to achieve something, if we want to really make it happen, we are not interested in conference hopping, but really make something happen, then we must have a single point agenda. Right now, it is soil and soil ecology, biodiversity of the soil, allowing soil to be a living soil for future generations. That's the only goal. So we will not deviate from that, which is also getting some amount of criticism from people who are frustrated that they are not able to draw us into other uh, agendas <laughs> of their yeah. own. It's okay. Mm -hmm. And uh, I, I wonder, because it, it's so important to now spread this message and everybody that has internet access can listen to this. Um, but what about the places where, and that, that's obviously a big part of the world still, where they don't have access to internet? How can we spread the message there? What, what, what can we do? See, Maybe today in the world, uh, nearly, nearly 5 billion people have access to internet. Mm -hmm. Let's move them fast. The other people usually are very eco-friendly. They have a very low footprint. Those who don't have internet, those kind of people are not causing much damage either. But the important thing is to move 60% of the world's electorate so that the governments will move. Uh, the actual uh, activity may be with those people that you're uh, referring to. Maybe actually on-ground, hands-on activity will come from them. But mm -hmm. we want policies which will uh, give incentives to those people so that their economies and their lives can improve as the soil improves. So I don't think we should be worried about them right now. We are... In many ways, what we're doing is beneficial to them in future uh, because they are the people who are on the land. I uh, think that's, that's, that's lovely. I have a, a personal maybe question that has been on my mind a lot. And um, I, uh, I wonder, like for a lot of, like in psychology, I'm a psychologist myself, we, we know that for people to realize something, it's often too late already, um, and but I'm also an optimist, so I'm kind of like in this in this um, cognitive battle where like, okay, I want to spread this message as much as I can, but I still think deep down inside and understanding people's consciousness that they will not realize it until it's too late. Um, is is that too too much of a? Um, pessimistic point of view or do you think it's it's realistic for me to be so skeptical about that see if at all if it, if it could ever be done it is only now it can be done mm -hmm. will we do it or not is the question the question is not will it happen or not will we do it or not is the question so yes. if we take it upon ourselves it's not a question of will it happen or not who are we asking to make this happen will we do it or not just say, let's get together and let's make it happen. Huh? Definitely. Um, I think that should be the focus. And um, uh, I, I, again, I'm super excited to be part of this movement uh, with you, such Guru. Thank you for being the leader that you are and you spreading it. Every day, next, uh, next 88 days are left. 88 days, yeah. every day, keep it on. Keep the throttle on. Then there's no question of will it happen or not. It will happen. It, it is happening already, I think, and that, that's, that's yes. beautiful. It uh, is happening. If you do not know this already, one thing is uh, United States allocated uh, $1 billion for cover crops, which is good. It's not enough, but good. Uh, UK has allocated some kind of incentives for cover crops. Uh, Germany 
allocated $4 billion for uh, soil biodiversity for this year. In India, for the project that uh, we had uh, done, and we, uh, you know, uh, we are manifesting in southern India on exact replica projects, 13 projects in 13 river basins, Indian government had done detailed project reports. Now, uh, about five days ago, they allocated $2.3 billion for that, which is a huge step for India. So things are happening, and uh, now the Commonwealth nations have given a declaration that they are with us, that is 54 nations with 2.7 billion population. So how can you say it's not happening? It's definitely happening. We just need to keep the throttle on. Relentless commitment to what we're doing. That's all that's needed. Indeed, indeed. I, uh, I second that. Is there any... Uh... Any last words, parting words that that uh, that you want to give to uh, the people listening right now and my audience, and that is so. Uh, so Tell your uh, right? people, you're you're a young man. You thinking will it happen or not? Uh, if I don't make it, I'm saying, if I don't complete this trip, if I fall mm -hmm. dead or something, you guys, young people, must walk the remaining kilometers and make it happen. Huh? That is the commitment <laughs> I want to see. Oh, yes. I I commit myself to that, hundred percent. Here, live, I say it right now. I will do that. <laughs> uh, and That's even okay. after that, because I think it's, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be beyond 88 days. I think it's going to be a, a forever thing. And um, it's, uh, it, it, yeah. It is, have... uh, it is a generational thing. Never before there has been a situation like this in this world, uh, that soil extinction was, uh, you know, facing us. And uh, we can be either that generation which turn back from the brink of disaster or be that generation that fell over and then will grieve over it. Let's be that generation that turned back. Thank you very much. Such good for your time. And um, Thank have you, a Jesse. safe journey to your next meeting. Let, and us, and we'll all... let us make it Take happen. Soil. Don't let go. Yeah. Huh? Keep, the, keep the throttle on every day, every day. Okay. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Be safe, and um, yep. I hope to see you maybe in Brussels or uh, or Paris, one of the. What, oh, that would be great. Brussels. Yeah. Hope, looking forward so to see you there. Yep. Safe travels. Thank you. Namaskar.